Hello everyone, my name is Triple T, it's me, I'm back, back, back again, and I'm beyond the fridge, I'm beyond all my life, and I'm back again and I'm on top of my fridge, as you know, I'm beyond the fridge, I'm beyond life, and I'm beyond all that bullshit. That bullshit of life. I got me a little churches. Or as I like to call it, churchies. Churchies chicken. I bet the Americans don't say it like that. Oh, it looks like they gave me a free item. How nice. Oh, I got a poutine from them. Yeah, I got a poutine from these guys. Never had a poutine from Church's Chicken. And I was like, you know what, Mama? Let's do it. Let's live. What is this? Oh. Oh, they wrote me a note. I think they didn't have the... That's fine. We do not have biscuits at the moment. That's fine. Ooh, that felt... That's fine, girl. They gave me an extra chicken. One, two, three, four, five. That I don't need... It's fine. We won't complain for that. And they gave me an apple pie. And I got the poutine still, so... And a gravy. I need some hot sauces, though. I got still some of that stinger sauce that Dory sent me. Okay, listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Listen to this. My place is such a mess, y'all. I can't see y'all. I can't see y'all. I need a fork. So Dory be acting like she know me. And I'm not going to say shit in this video. Mm. That's pretty good, guys. Mm. Alright, we got the jalapenos. Mm. Alright. Let's put some of this... Sorry, y'all. I'm like, I need to be higher. Higher than the ground, mama. So those of you that are new to the channel, this is a series I started like a year ago. That also didn't give me for wait. I was like, they didn't give me fries, but they're the poutine. So I started this uh, I started this uh, eating on top of my fridge. Back when I was like 300, 
400 less subscribers. And I thought, well, oh my god. This gives me an edge. People be like, why are you eating on top of your fridge? I would like to I'm gonna extend the invitation out. I'm not gonna challenge every, anyone, but I would love to see like maybe, you know, maybe you do a, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Mmm. Holy fuck. It's so good, guys. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, y'all. This is more than I need it. And I eat what? Like, two pieces so far. That's what a normal person needs, is two pieces. So I'm gonna ask a, a question. For those that might watch. But I feel like if anyone that knew me, they would know that I'm most passionate about what country. Now, it makes me sad when you realize that your friends a lot of people know nothing about you. You realize that. And some might say, oh, you're throwing a fit. I'm not throwing a fit. I'm throwing reality. When people are happy, and when people are um, content with themselves they don't give a fuck about someone like me and that's the true reality I've had a lot of friends oh I understand you I don't you don't fucking understand me you don't and that's how I've always felt all my life nobody fucking understands me and especially lesbians why the fuck are they gonna have some special attachment to a gay male but I'm just like, if you stop and know something about someone, you'll know the story. And I think the bottom question is anyone could watch this video right now and tell me in the comments, people that have never met me, know what country I'm going to travel to. But my supposed best friend doesn't know any shit about me. And that's what makes me sad. But I'm throwing a fit, you know. I can throw a fit because nobody understands. Because when you have someone 
when you have a life and you have a girlfriend, you have a fiance, you have a wife, you have children, you have, you don't know what it's like or how you grew up or how you are. And that's the thing. I feel any good friend would know some basic shit about you. Right? Some basic fucking shit. You know? My favorite country to travel to? It's Egypt. Egypt is one of my favorite countries. I have not been able to sleep since I started talking since I've been to Egypt. It's fine though. You know. Different lives. Anyways, I'm a bitch. I'm a fucking bitch. I'm just like... Nobody understands. I've never met any fully person... Love interest wise, that gets me, and that's why I'd rather be single because hmm. I am. Uh, I am reaching the point of. Too much chicken. Too much fried chicken. There's a lot of fried chicken, but enough big dicks. It's like, well, I love long walks on the beach, big dicks, and fried chicken. At least I got fried chicken. My biggest thing about me in life is don't make assumptions. I might look white, but I might not be white inside. I might be this and I might be that. I might be that or I might be this, but I'm not any of those things. And people always like, what's your pronoun? What's your pronoun? What's my pronoun? My pronoun is I'm a fucking human being. Let's identify as human beings, not this, not that, not they, not him, not she, not that we're fucking human beings. And people, maybe the moment they realize that, but I doubt it, the true reality is we're doomed. This isn't living, what we're doing. Giving six hundred, seven hundred dollars to the government to taxes, being forced to work, being this is not normal. This is the society that has created over time. Bullshit. It's bullshit. Is what it is. Every man for himself. I couldn't tell you one neighbor I have. I couldn't tell you anything about anyone. And that means it's a selfish life. It means that everyone wants to hide. Because why? AI. Artificial intelligence. Nothing is real anymore. We don't want human interactions because human interactions are evil. People are not kind. I just, I've been alone for so long now that Yeah. Big dicks and fried chicken. 